Hi, this is Mike, and this is a quick video tutorial on how to create polyrhythms in Tidal. So I've got a kick drum sample here, and oops, I've just got a basic pattern of four kick drum notes, like so. So one thing I can do is enclose this in square braces in my pattern here, and this does not change the pattern, it sounds the same. But with the square braces, I can then add a comma and then a second pattern after the comma. And so for example, I can take a closed hi-hat times three. So this will play a polyrhythm of three closed hi-hats over four kick drums. It sounds like this. Pretty basic. And you can put more than two patterns in this type of notation. So I can separate um, as many patterns as I like with a comma. So if I take a clap times five, you get the idea, pretty simple. Another thing you can do if you have uh, your, your samples laid out in more linearly like this. Uh, let's say on beat two, I wanna do something interesting. Uh, I can enclose a single beat of a pattern with square brackets, and I could put a polyrhythm inside here like this. And you can really nest these as far as you like. I can even put another layer of square braces in there um, let's do this. So here I've got uh, kind of a polyrhythm within a polyrhythm, I guess you could say. I, I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> it may or may not be musical, depending on what you're trying to do, but you can really nest these things pretty far. Um, one other thing is the... Uh, um, So if I've got um, inside square braces here, I've got a clap sample times two and then a closed hi-hat times two. And if I divide this entire section that's in square braces here, if I divide this part by two, it will alternate every other cycle, which which part of it's, it's playing. Uh, for the first cycle, it's going to play the claps, and then the second cycle, it'll play the hi-hats. And if I multiply by two, it'll uh, double the speed. It'll play both. All right, so that's that's basic polyrhythm stuff. All right, there's another uh, type of polyrhythm. And I, I guess technically, I don't know if it's actually called a polyrhythm, but uh, I'll just call it that. Um, using the curly braces syntax. So if I have four kick drum samples, and let's say I've got another pattern that's only three samples. Let's say I've got a closed hi-hat and a clap and maybe, um, you know, like a synth sound. And so this second pattern is three samples and the first pattern is four. With the curly braces, it's actually going to play the second pattern on the same beats as the first pattern, but it'll just wrap after it gets to the end. And it sounds like this. So to kind of describe visually what's going on, we've got the kick drum on beat one, kick drum on beat two, kick drum on beat three, kick drum on beat four, and then the, the pattern repeats. You know, this is time going this way. Um, so we have the closed hi-hat, the clap, and then our RP sample. Let me make some space here. And then that pattern wraps, so then Closed hi-hat, clap, RP. Closed hi-hat, clap, and so on. So that second pattern just wraps over uh, the first pattern it, forever, basically, which is pretty cool. So 
let's say you want this wrapping behavior, but without having a first pattern to, to specify. Uh, I didn't say that very well. So if I just wanted to specify only this second half, these three notes, but I, I didn't want another pattern to be playing under that, um, I could specify four rests like this, but that's quite a bit to type, um, especially if I wanted um, a, fa a faster pattern. You know, I could type four rests, but that's that's really annoying. So the shorthand way to do this is to just specify the one pattern inside square uh, squiggly, squiggly, curly braces, and then do a percent, and then the number of beats you want it to wrap on top of. So I, if I just use curly braces, percent four, it'll wrap these three over four beats. So that's a much more concise way to do it. And if you change the number here, if I change it to eight, it'll wrap it over um, eight times per cycle. So it'll actually increase the speed. And we can, in, we can double that to make it sixteenths. And you can get some um, uh, I can't type and talk at the same time. Sorry. <laughs> you can get some, you know, um, some popular electronic music type sounds or, or motifs by uh, using this technique. So you could have a synth that just goes forever and kind of, uh, yeah, just kind of goes in three over a uh, you know division of four or something like that. You can do that in indefinitely. The really cool thing is that you can use these types of polyrhythms not just with the sam uh, sample sounds, but with um, your other like synth parameters as well. So if I have let's say you know four, or we got four synth sounds there. I can actually use this technique for other things like speed. So if I do this, so I'm actually playing four samples, but then I am using a polyrhythm to dictate the, the playback speed of those samples. And um, uh, I'm just going to leave it at that rather than try and make a more complicated example. And this is really a, a really easy way to add some variation to your patterns without really having to type a lot of different samples or anything like that. It kind of gives this irregularity to it, um, you know, where you have these changes that aren't on the, the beginning of a cycle necessarily. So uh, you can do this with, you know, course, you know, or delay, or uh, crush, uh, pan, you, you can really apply these things to, to all of those. So yeah, if we make a, like a fast pattern here. Anyway, just, uh, just this is just a quick example of some stuff you can do. So uh, that about covers it, and um, that's all. So hopefully that was interesting and helpful, and have fun making polyrhythms in title. <laughs>